Well guys, here I am out in the garage after a day of, well, puttering and a weekend of puttering. We got a little bit accomplished and I guess that's what I'm going to share with you for the first part of this video anyways, so hope you stay tuned. So one of the big things that I've been working on with this little puttering project and, and the reason why I started puttering was because of this. I moved my toolbox out from here over to here so that I could get the ladder in here and start working on the wall art project one more time. So if you guys aren't familiar with what the wall art project is, well it started off with this. I had an old cowl off of another 7879 Chrysler Cordoba that was just sitting out behind the garage for many, many years and I had lots of spare parts as far as headlights and turn signals and this and that. So I took it out one day to the garage, we stripped it or we sanded it down and we painted it. Brought it back to the house and put it together into a series of videos I called Project Wall Art and I will put a playlist uh, right over here so you guys can go take a look at that. So I did make some headway on the project wall art on, I think it was Friday evening. So I'm going to insert a little bit of that right now. So what we've got to do is we've got to clear out this corner, get my toolbox out of the way, which is going to be a little bit of a chore in itself, getting all the crap off of it without it falling on the floor. Timber! That way we can have access to that complete wall. So we've got to move some things around. So let's get the lights on and uh, get to it. So one thing you might notice is my garage has been outfitted or retrofitted with LED lights. I got a bunch of them. I got six that are hung up already and I've got my old T8s set aside. You see Crappy Tire last week had a really big sale on these four foot LED tube lights or shop lights and there was like a rebate on them so they were like five bucks a piece. How could you turn that away? I bought two cases so I've got a dozen of them. Six of them are in here. There's going to be a couple going up in the house as well and uh, they cast really good light and they only cost pennies to run so I'm okay with that. So first thing we got to do is we've got to get the toolbox cleaned up and move things out of the way so we can start nailing up some license plates up along the wall. So one thing you'll notice is that there's an air line that comes up and it's all plumbed in all the way around and it comes down to in behind here where my compressor is now but it was always there before I moved into the garage. Somebody was a Packers fan. Oh boy, here we go. And that's why you've got yellow and green kind of all along the top. That heater is seized up and hasn't worked since I got here. Because it's still under warranty. So it's got to come down. We're going to take that down as well as this string of Christmas lights. Again, don't know where those come from, but they're coming down. And that way we can start over here in this corner and come this way. Once we get enough license plates from you guys that are going to send me them, because my information is down below if you want to send me your spare license plates, to help finish this project, my goal is to be able to basically just paper the whole wall in old spare license plates. Old, new, doesn't matter. Just as long as your license plates, that's what we're gonna do. So I wanna start up in this upper right hand corner and come this way. Eventually start over here and come that way. I'm not gonna do the whole garage, just this working corner that I have. So I wanna start here and come over and this way. Okay guys, we've got our big uh, aluminum uh, stepper thingy here and we've got our nail put her in the wall with air thingy. Just spit it out! We've got our license plates, at least the few that we have. We're gonna start smashing these things up here and see what it looks like. Hopefully it works pretty good because when these nails go in, it ain't coming out. So we're gonna start with Oklahoma. Iowa, the great state of Iowa. Isn't that where Junkyard Digs and Thunderhead 289 are from? I'm thinking so. Well, as you can see, guys, I got a good head start on her. 
and uh, once we get some more license plates I think what I want to be able to do is I want to be at least come down four rows to start which is going to bring me down to about here all the way across and we're going to come over right over to the edge of the tires that way I will be able to mount the wall art project right about here where there's a plug-in for power so guys while I run out and grab a few more license plates tell me in the comment section below what do you think this wall art project is going to look like thumbs up or thumbs down and all you guys giving thumbs down stop it I really don't care but stop being a jerk and in the process of getting that looked after um, I did start doing some things like sweeping up picking up tools putting things away and you know between other things that was going on over the weekend we did manage to get this place cleaned up a little bit two things got accomplished two major things got accomplished here's one I got through all my mailed stickers that people had sent in to me and if you guys follow me on Instagram you'll know that I got them finally up on the toolbox so we've got Winnipeg Car Life, St. John Engine Rebuilders, Pappy's Corner, V-Dub Pate, Toolheads Crate, Poe Boys Diesel, Tipsy Trippin' Rednecks, and the uh, Toolheads Crate sticker that came last month, as well as Sussex Beard Oil Merchant, who is a sponsor of this video. Yay! So we're going to insert that sponsor right now. Guys, today's video is being brought to you by Sussex Beard Oil. And today's product that we're going to be showing you is the Stash Stick. And you guys have seen mustache waxes come in the little tins and that stuff is really, really hard and hard to get out because you got to dig it out with your thumb thumbnail. This is almost like a tube of chapstick. You just take it and you can rub it right in to your mustache, get those whiskers to lay down. And once it's in there, you can kind of go and do your styling any way that you want. You can get your very own stash stick at sussexbeard.com. I'll put the link right here. As well, if you buy any regular size Sussex Beard Oil, you can get your very own travel size absolutely free. And all you gotta do is punch in the promo code LOVEBOX. Now, back to your regularly scheduled program. So now it is Sunday evening. It's kind of the end of the day for me. And I'm getting ready to go into the house and relax. And one of the things that I found on Friday evening, I had a couple of racks set up here on these little plastic dip hooks. And I had a bunch of uh, trim pieces left over spare trim pieces such as you know door sill trim window channel trim as well as a complete other rear window trim uh, pieces in that mess of stuff I found was the trim piece that goes on the leading edge of the hood and the reason why I didn't recognize it at first over there simply was because it was covered in oversprayed paint it likely was the one that came on the car when i bought it back and the hood looked like it had been painted with a roller anyways sos pad clean that right up it does have a couple of nicks on it here which i'm really not too worried about this is a driver if i really wanted to find one of those pieces of trim in excellent condition probably going to pay several hundred dollars for it so i think what i'm going to do right now is see if we can't get that fitted on the car i have been missing that piece for like eight years so glad to have that on there and doesn't that look much better kind of just finishes off that little piece of trim look at it you guys didn't even know the difference come on so the other piece of trim that i found was if you'll notice there's a piece of aluminized trim along the bottom here and there isn't one here I found that piece in fact i found the extra set that I had off of a different car. This one is the one that we were looking for, for that pasture side. It does have a few dents in it. So at some point we are gonna try and get those little dents out and clean that up a little bit. And get it installed back on the car because that is the last, absolute last piece of trim for this car. So I did start tackling the uh, ARP header bolts for the car. And the actual gasket that I'm getting should be here tomorrow. So. Monday, Tuesday night probably is when I'll get tackling back at getting those new gaskets in there. And get this thing sealed up and hopefully get rid of that exhaust tick that I have coming from up front and be able to drive this thing. I'm really getting anxious. Today was a really, really nice day and I couldn't drive it because, well, I kind of had this side all tore apart again. So as the good weather comes, which it's going to be here today, it was almost 70 degrees, 
I want to get this car out to the shop and get it detailed right from top to bottom inside and out and start driving this car. Car shows are starting to happen more and more frequently. Uh, there was one in Fredericton this weekend which I actually missed out on but hopefully there will be more and we'll get you guys there to check those out. So last but not least here in the garage we do have some garbage that goes out for Tuesday and we've got some cans and bottles that have got to go out to the Redemption Center. The next thing I got to do is clean the top of my toolbox off. What a mess. Pick up my poop. Anyways, we're going to get that cleaned up uh, one of these nights when I'm not, uh, when I don't have too much on the go. And then that way we will uh, be able to find some tools and get some stuff put away. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Old Car Auto Guy. Just some stuff around the uh, garage this weekend and getting some projects finished up. Also coming up really soon is, uh, again, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that we went down to the camper today and uh, found that the, uh, we, we knew it, we just went down to do some work, that the uh, floor had gotten wet in the camper, so we will be doing a floor repair on that. Again, we did it two years ago, so we're gonna be doing it again this year. Uh, this time we are going to do it uh, better, and we've really gotta find out where this water's coming in. I think I've got a pretty good idea. So um, that's what we're up to down there, and I hope you guys will stick around for that. So guys, if you haven't heard by now, we're doing something really, really big with bubbles. I made the announcement in the regular Saturday upload, which I'm gonna post right up here. And uh, if the word hasn't gotten out yet, we're blowing up Project Bubbles. Boo! We're doing it in three parts. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna burn the tires off till they blow. We're gonna, we're gonna rev the engine up until it blows. And then we're gonna blow up bubbles. So that is what we're doing for the big kind of season finale of the uh, Bubbles Project. And I hope that you guys can stick around for that. That video will be recorded very, very soon. The catch is I'm not uploading it right away. Why? Because I want you guys to help me reach 2,000. 2,000. 2,000. Subscribers, so that means I want you guys to give this video a thumbs up. I want you to hit that share button. Share it on your social media. Let your friends know that we're gonna be doing something big uh, with Project Bubbles. And uh, then that way you guys can be there firsthand uh, when that video gets dropped. If you hit that bell notification, little bell beside the subscribe button, Ding. you'll get an email uh, and be notified when that video goes live or in any video goes live. So there are other ways that you can help support this channel. They are in the links in the description box below and uh, the very first one being the Old Car Auto Guy t-shirts. You can get your very own. There's two different styles to choose from. The second one being Straight Six Fan, who is my co-host for the Thursday evening live streams. Granted, we will be taking a break from that for a little while, and uh, we'll be getting back to that near the end of June for season two of the Car Guy and Six Fan show. The other three links are for my Patreon, my TubeBuddy affiliate, as well as Sussex Beard Oil, who is a sponsor of this video, as you know. So guys, I really enjoyed this. I hope that you guys stick around for more. Stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you guys. God bless. Let's do it again really, really soon. This is a no-go. I just can take hope. This is